right guys, Rodney Fisher here, the uh, sportspreneur. This is another vlog, another episode. I'm, I got my trusty sidekick with me today. Hi. Naya. So this episode, we got a lot to do today uh, in the business of sports. And as you guys know, this show is kind of dedicated to showing kind of my everyday thing, what I do um, with sports, how I make, a, make money off of sports, the business of sports. You don't always have to be the athlete to be the one to do everything. So today, Naya Aww. is going to get started on her athletic career today as we go get signed up for basketball and do a little work. And we got to meet with my coaches for the Texas War Eagles. Team has practice today. And I've got to uh, meet with CCE about the upcoming all-star game so a lot going on today you guys stay tuned naya how you feel about basketball i don't like it we got an interesting episode folks stay tuned a lot going on here today on this beautiful day here in desoto naya i don't like basketball because people work their butt off and hard work it pays off just about being, you know, Kobe Bryant or being Kevin Stephen Durant. Curry. Yeah, Stephen Curry, okay. It's about being on a team, all right? That being on a team means you get a chance to make new friends. There's the sleepovers. There's the going out of town for games. I mean, there's the fun part about playing sports, okay? That's all I want you to concentrate on. I'm, I, I'm, and this is something that me and you can do together. This is something where... You know, I can, we can work on stuff together, spend time together. That's why I want you to sign up for basketball. Mm -hmm. I understand. You understand? Yes. And I think you'd be really good at it, you know? You got some good height. Very tall. So I think, I think you'd be good at it. So that's why I want you to give it a try, all right? Mm -hmm. And let's, let's see what happens. I think you're gonna be great. I think so? Yeah, I think you'll be great. Okay. Yeah, then the start.
All right, come on back. There you go. Come on back. How's that feel? All right, do it again. Let's go down and back. Go. Look up. Look where you're going. There you go. Nice first little practice session getting to the gym. How you feel, Nia? Good. So, what do you think about basketball now? I like it. It's tiring and it's, and it needs a lot of hard work. But I'm proud of you. Okay. You were better than you thought, right? Yeah. All right, we got more to do today, guys. Stay tuned. Just wrapped up uh, talking to the coaches. It was a great lunch. They're super excited about the season. Uh, we had some new guys come today, guys that um, we knew were going to come. Man, I'm just, you know, it just makes me feel really, really good the way we're starting off this year. Everybody's together. You know, at, at this level, when you do a minor league football, these guys are playing simply for the love of the game. And man, the passion that they have for this season, for this team, man, I just, I, I'm just looking forward to it so much. It's just so much to do, so much to do. So it's a, uh, we, we're still not done for the rest of the day. It's been, it's been a great day so far though. I'm so happy Naya is, is so happy about basketball. Yep. And uh, we're just gonna have a really good time. So we're gonna take a quick break, see the fam, and then we'll back to work, guys. Yep. Back to work. Go! business to focus on today man i'm just in the zone just listening to music on my way into the office man just zoned out man ready for the day i always try to start the day i just really really focused on what i gotta do you know i try to pick the top you know four to five things i want to get done this week or even in the day just depending on what i gotta do and i'm just laser focused on that man so it's gonna be a big big week today's gonna be a big day let's get it
back in my hotel room, had a little breakfast this morning. On my way to a big meeting uh, with this, uh, it or not, a high school here in the New York area that has a fantastic alumni base. I mean, uh, their projects have done traditionally well, so I'm out to meet with them. Uh, so I got some business to take care of today, and I'm also going to uh, Hunter College today, too. Um, tomorrow's a bigger day. I got NYU. It's a huge deal, huge deal. Um, actually, the CEO's flying in tonight. Um, he's coming with me tomorrow, so I'm going to try to get this deal closed. But on the uh, sports front, I, I did find out some great information today. Actually, I uh, was awarded again. This is going to be, what, the third or fourth year in a row with the uh, broadcasting rights for the UIL uh, Texas State Championship. And this is for 6A, which is the biggest division. And we got two championship games, which we don't know right now what school is going to be in those championship games. We'll know at the end of this weekend. But more importantly, uh, NTX game will be uh, broadcasting both of those games. So we have the rights. Now, when you get the rights to something like that, um, it's a huge kind of deal for your company uh, because, again, it gives you some kind of like legitimacy in the in the industry. Uh, people know that you are doing your job. You're not to be played with. It's a great platform in the stage to really expose your company to uh, a wider audience, especially from cities in different areas. But <clears throat> it's important to understand, it's kind of like and you, you pay so much for the broadcasting rights, you have to do a lot to really make a profit. Not only do you have to pay for the broadcasting rights for both games, but you've also got to pay your employees um, and all that good stuff. And there's some production that goes along with that because there are certain commercials that you have to run that the UIL will send you uh, because they have their own advertisers as well, too. So it kind of works very similar to, say, the Super Bowl, NBA Finals. Um, most networks that broadcast the Super Bowl or the Finals, NBA Finals, don't make a lot of money because there's so much overhead to do it. With the NBA, you've got potentially a seven-game series. You got to fly people back and forth. Could be coast to coast. Uh, you got a lot of production value in terms of cameras, camera crews, lighting, um, and plus you got to cover everything else too. It's not just broadcasting the games, but you got to cover the interviews. You got to cover um, the practices. So a lot of networks uh, operate in the negative for that, but they want it because when they charge for advertising dollars to their companies, it includes the Super Bowl so they can raise those prices up. So now, not only do you have to pay for getting on the Super Bowl, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of extra money to get those late night shows or those other shows that uh, don't have as much prestige as, say, the Super Bowl or the finals. So... So it's going to be a busy day today. On top of the meetings I have today, I'm going to have to get on the phone, call some of my advertisers, and see if they want to get involved with the state championship game um, as well, too. Also, I'm looking for an opponent for uh, the Texas War Eagles to scrimmage on Saturday. So I made a call yesterday at the airport. They declined our invitation to scrimmage. Um, so I'm still looking for a team to possibly scrimmage this Saturday as well so it's gonna be a really really busy day um, but you know the show must go on I'm dressed too impressed in the closed deal so uh, let's get this party started let's get going Guys, I'm here, just wrapped up my first meeting of the day here. It was short, uh, but I think I got the sale done. Just got to see, she got presented to a board, see what happens, but uh, stay tuned. The first meeting is over, so the 
everything else is downhill from here. Guys, we're here outside of Hunter College. It's starting to rain a little bit, but interesting situation. So I got here on the planned appointment and apparently my contact did not come in the office today, nor did he email or call to let me know not to come. But you know, this happens. So again, I think I've said this before, but the way you react to certain situations is key, it's critical. I could be upset, I can really throw myself off my game. I can kind of just go about it with a bad attitude, but you know, at this point I have to take his word for it. If the kids got sick, if many kids get sick, I would have done the same thing. So, But I would have at least let the person know. So we'll try to reschedule for tomorrow. Tomorrow's another full day. It's starting to rain, it's almost four o'clock, so traffic's gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna get back to the hotel, regroup, work on some other stuff, um, and keep mashing, man. That's all you can do at this point. And it's cold, 27 degrees. I'm in the car. Head to the big meeting. It's cold. Bundled up. Suit, overcoat, hat. It's cold out here, man.